Hi guys, it's Genia. Welcome to my channel. So I haven't done a vlog in a while, so I thought I will take you guys out with me this weekend. Um, got a few things planned for the weekend. So tomorrow we're having a barbecue at our house with a couple of friends and family. Um, Kyung wanted to have a barbecue. It's also his birthday, but Kyung being Kyung, he obviously doesn't want to make a big deal about it. He just wants a few friends over and have like a spit on. Um, so we're going to hire out a spit and have that going. Um, so hopefully the weather holds up because the weather is uh, meant to be a little bit raining um, during this weekend. He's also got a few plans on Sunday with um, a couple of boys. So Coco and I are going to a Frenchie play date. And because Halloween is coming up, um, it is going to be a Halloween themed play date. So I'm super excited for that. Um, today is Friday Arvo right now. Um, I'm just working at home, doing a few things, I have to organise a few stuff. And I'm going to quickly just go out to do a bit of grocery shopping for the weekend uh, and pick up a few things as well. So just got back from the shops, bought a few things for tomorrow. You know I love a good feast. Um, so for tomorrow's barbecue, the main thing is going to be a spit. We're going to have a lamb spit going. Um, hopefully the guy's going to drop it off at around um, 10 in the morning or maybe a bit earlier. Um, we've got a few other things. So we're going to provide some chicken wings. Um, we've got some barbecue lamb chops as well as I'm um, going to make nem nong tonight as well for that the Vietnamese sausage, um, pork sausage thing. And my cousin's also going to bring some chicken feet. Um, we love chicken feet. Everyone's barbecue, there's like a signature thing. Uh, with me and my cousins, ours are chicken feet. It's just really nice to go. Apparently with beer, I don't drink beer, but I like it because it's like crispy, crunchy. And it's just really nice like to chill out at the end of a barbecue. Um, I'm also going to make some salad, like potato salad, um, Caesar salad and maybe a green salad just in case and also do my thing I've been doing a lot lately is like cheese platters antipesto slash fruit platter boards um, so I'm gonna try and make a table I did one for my birthday which was really good um, I'll probably try and make it smaller because we had a whole lot last time so every time so I'm trying to be cautious about how much I'm actually getting um, I want to have just enough and not go overboard like I normally do so just did our rounds bought a whole lot of stuff so tonight I'm gonna prep and um, just marinate the meat and things like that and make a few of the salads um, yes yeah, so I'll show you a few things that we purchased Hey, Coco. He's always in the kitchen when we're here preparing like he's going to get food. <laughs> but anyway, so these are a few stuff that I purchased from my normal round. So I normally go to the veggie shop, then the Aldi and then the Coles. Um, so I got a few stuff for my cheese slash antifesto plate. Got a few corns to put on the barbie because they're really nice with garlic prawn. Got some fruit, got some mint and stuff to make some pims as well as some olives and things like that. So it is actually Kyung's birthday tomorrow, um, but he doesn't normally make a big deal about it. Um, he's just not that type of person that, you know, he'll rather, he just really wanted a spit for his birthday, so might as well have one and have friends over as well. But So we're not having an official celebration, but I think it'll be nice to organise something. I haven't gotten cake or anything. I'm not sure whether we want cake or not, because I think that may be a bit too much for him. But anyways, I did buy him a present. Um, which he doesn't know about so normally like he's very as much as I love him he's very picky when it comes to things and undecisive as well it's really hard buying him things usually I just let him do it and I'll just you know pay for it whatever but this time around I thought I would surprise him he's been asking for a wallet for a new wallet for a while now and he's been deciding a few so I went and actually got one yesterday um, I ended up getting him a Mont Blanc one because he didn't want anything too out there like he didn't want like too much of like a statement one he wanted something simple yet something with a little you know um, luxury to it so I'm not getting this I don't really know much about Mont Blanc but it seems like a good German brand um, I liked it because it was quite reasonable price and the leather was nice and soft as well. It was quite um, versatile and, you know, perfect for what he needs. So I hope he likes it because, like I said, he can be very undecisive. Well, he did mention about it a while ago um, that maybe he should get like a different brand from like Louis Vuitton or like, you know, Prada or those kind of like luxury brands. So I'm going to hide this in the house somewhere and surprise him tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I hope he likes it. 
So it is four o'clock that time of day where I feel extremely peckish and tired at the same time. So I made myself a little snack because I had brunch at about 12 o'clock. I had boko um, stew with English muffins for brunch. Um, so I'm showing you what I'm having for snack just to kind of get through the four o'clock itis. So this is the snack I've got here, some grain crackers with cheese and ham, as well as some tea. This is the tea that I'm currently drinking. It's actually quite nice. I got this from La Manor. This is the white tea and strawberries from Tea Blossoms. I usually make a big pot in the morning um, and just drink it like normal water, I guess, during the day. And I got Coco a little treat as well because I can't have a treat without him, can't have food. Coco, mm, you hungry too? Yeah, you get a little snack. You get a little sass. Coco, leave it, leave it. Ready? Go. Good boy. So I went Coco the other day and bought him some stuff I wanted to show you guys because they're so cute. Um, as I said, on Sunday, I plan to take him to a friendship play date and they have a Halloween theme. So I'm going to um, dress him up into something. And I couldn't decide what I wanted, so I bought a whole lot of stuff from Kmart. So the first thing I got him was this little taco outfit. It's so cute. I actually got this in a large. Um, but it didn't fit him. It was a bit big for him. So I went back and exchanged it for a medium. So I'll show you what these look like on him as well. And I got this little bumblebee because it was so cute. This one's in a medium, but it's a little bit small around the neck because it's got a really chunky neck. So I might have to fix this up a bit and give this back. I don't know why it's October at the moment and they're already bringing out Christmas stuff. So they also had this little Christmas rider as well, which was so cute. I can't wait to... To give this to him or let him wear it during Christmas. I did also get him a gingerbread um, plush toy, which he literally destroyed within like an hour. So I don't have that because it's gone, but I did take snap, um, IG snap. So if you do follow me on IG, then you would have saw that um, when I post up. And I also got him a new harness because I was thinking about buying him a good one. Um, but these are fine. These are from Kmart, which is super cute. I actually got him one already previously in a medium, but it's a little bit small. So I have to upgrade to a large. So I might have to donate this because it's still pretty good. It's just a little bit worn. And look what I found the other day in the garage when we are cleaning it out. This was his first harness he got when we first got him. He was so small. It only lasted about probably a week or two. But yeah, that's what... Hey, give it back. That's what he wore, and he can't like even fit into it. Coco, look, look, he can't even fit into it anymore. You're so fat. So yeah, I'll probably. I don't know if I want to keep it because it's kind of got memories, but obviously he can't wear it. So I might donate it to another puppy in need. But yeah, I'll try these on him to show you what they look like because they're so freaking cute. I don't know which one I want to wear. Um, either the taco or the bee on Sunday. Does it look like a taco? Coco. Do you like it? I'm probably going to make him wear this one on Sunday. Oh, you are so cute. So this is the B one. So this is also in a medium, but this one looks kind of smaller. But I need to kind of fix the neck because it's kind of a little bit tight on him. I don't know if he likes this one, but he looks super cute. <gasps> and this is the Santa one. Come on. I don't know how he feels about this one as well. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> I think it's super cute. <laughs> So 
So guys, it's currently 8.30. Um, I've just finished prepping everything. So I've just chopped up, boiled and cooked the, um, everything for the potato salad. So I'm just waiting for everything to kind of cool down so I can mix it all together. Um, I've also chopped some onion and garlic ready. So I'm going to marinate some lamb, barbecue lamb chops now. Um, just in soy sauce, garlic and salt and pepper. Maybe a little bit of sugar to see how that goes because I love lamb. Um, and then we're going to wait for our friend Michael to come so we can make the um, nem nung, which is a Vietnamese pork sausage. Um, I love it, so we're going to make that and maybe he can help us just skew that later as well. Um, I haven't had dinner yet because I'm still kind of full from um, the snack. I did have um, a few more pieces of the cheese and ham um, biscuits, so I'm still quite full. Um, but I've already got veggie soup out, so I might have that a little bit later if I'm still hungry. So I decided to skip my veggie soup because I wasn't that hungry. But Michael bought over his uh, cinnamon scrolls and they're so good. Mm, they smell like cinnamon. Mm, I'm having this with Ovaltine hot chocolate. <laughs> good, good morning. <laughs> it's um, almost 10 o'clock. Oh, my forehead looks so big. Bird Kyung Happy birthday Happy birthday Coco is excited He doesn't sleep with us by the way One he's too loud <laughs> And two he takes up a lot of room But the guy just delivered the spit this morning So Coco's up Oh Coco Excited You excited Kyung, Kyung, I got you something. Where is it? I got you something. The Mont Blanc. Ooh. Thank you. Happy birthday. That's a wallet. Hope you like it. And why would you put a receipt in there? Oh, my bad. Give me the receipt. No. Hey guys, so it's currently 12 o'clock and um, yeah, just got ready. There's really nothing much we really have to do today. I pretty much prepped most of the stuff yesterday. Just gotta make salad. Um, the guy came and delivered our spits this morning. So that's starting to roast, I guess. Um, should take about three hours. So it should be ready for first cutting at 12, uh, two o'clock. So we've invited a few friends and family over, mostly family, I guess, um, for a barbecue at two today. The weather isn't the greatest, like there's no sun, but fingers crossed it doesn't rain because it's meant to rain a bit this afternoon. So hopefully it doesn't. By the way, this is my backyard. I don't know if I've given a full tour, but we just got grass installed, fake grass. I'll give you a tour of my backyard. So this is our small backyard. Um, Kang and I designed it and did most of it ourselves so I'm quite proud of that. Um, before when we got this place this was landscaped um, with just some few trees growing along the side but I thought I wanted to build like a vegetable garden or like fruits and stuff like that so I decided just to build a retaining wall just to make it more easier for me to grow stuff and more neater as well. Um, and we got concrete installed so that means that you know there's no weeding and stuff well actually there is i don't know why for a small backyard we get so much weed and that literally took us like a year or two to do it ourselves um we had this which is now coco's grass so we had this like for like a good four years i guess we planned to do it ourselves but at the end we ended up just paying someone to do it because it would have taken us like another two years to get it done so i'm um, finally it's kind of coming along i just need to get a few plants to replace the ones here because they were dying and we may get decking later on in the future but so far this is pretty much it so that's our small garden i may do a blog post i've been planning to do one um for my website i just haven't got around to it so hopefully um, when Kian gets back from doing some little shopping, we'll move that on the side and set up for later. Coco, do you like your grass? He really likes his grass. Coco, aren't you so cute? Just chilling, <laughs> chilling like a villain. Cousin Fiona's here. I just spent two hours setting up the cheese slash fruit slash antipesto platter. Fiona went and bought some donuts. Cannot wait to eat.
first cut. Good morning, so it's currently 12 o'clock, well good afternoon I guess, none of us wanted to get out of bed but the guy came at 10 o'clock this morning to pick up the spit machine so we let Coco snooze with us this morning and yeah so we had to get out because today we've got a few things going on so I'm taking Coco to a play day at 1 o'clock um, and Kyung's got a fishing trip planned with the boys this afternoon so we had to get out of bed and um, the weather is looking a bit cold right now um, I don't know whether it's going to start raining so last night we had the barbecue at the backyard but we had to move it to the garage because it started spitting um, it wasn't too bad but yeah hopefully the weather holds up while Coco's out on his play date Coco where are you? Coco let's go Coco! <laughs> Coco! Mm. So dead tired. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Mum life. Making sure your kids are fed. Go! Also having a quick feed for myself. Got some leftover potato salad. Um, I don't know, like... When it comes to like barbecues and stuff for my cousin, this is like my signature dish, potato salad, because it's just really easy to make. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Young. So what are you having for breakfast? What a fat life. So it's almost five o'clock and I'm so tired, just got up from a nap. Um, we left the play date at about 2.30, 2.45 and got home at about 3. Um, we we're both so exhausted. Coco is still kind of sleeping on the couch a bit because um, he knows that I'm still here. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a really good play date. I really love going to those play dates. Um, the weather looked a bit bad because it started raining when we got there, but there was a few moments of sun, um, which was really good. And there was like a puppy there that was only three months. I don't know, I thought that was a bit young to be at a play date because they have to be like vaccinized and things like that but it was super cute i really missed coco when he was that small you could just hold him with one hand um but yeah it was a really fun day um but we were just really tired so we just got home so i'm just about to um i'm kind of a bit peckish but last night so my cousin bought um some chicken wings chicken feet over um but we didn't we had a lot of food so we didn't get to finish it so now i'm stuck with all these chicken feed and I don't know what to do with it so I'm thinking about braising it um like yum cha style I've never done it before I've never cooked with chicken wing before so I'm not sure how it's going to turn out but I think I need to simmer it for about two hours an hour or two so I thought I'll get started and cook it and maybe peck through some food because I'm kind of a bit peckish right now Ta-da! so this is the final product. I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. It is a little bit darker, more thicker than I thought it would be. Um, not sure whether it's similar to how they do it at Yamcha, but I love chicken feet at Yamcha. This is obviously not black bean. This is just soy, um, braised soy version. But yeah, so I also included in the chicken feet that we had barbecued yesterday, but there was leftover, so I added that in as well. Hope it tastes good. If you've never tried chicken feet before, definitely recommend to try it. Mm, it tastes okay. A little bit more salty. I think I should have maybe put a little bit more sugar in it to make it a little bit more sweeter. So here we go. So it's currently 11 o'clock, oh. Kang just got home, where'd you go? I went to the charter, fishing charter. How'd you go? 
<sighs> there was no fish. For fuck's sake. Fail. Going back, out to, going back out tomorrow, though. Was it raining? Oh. Well, this was kind of a good day. Cook and I spent most time napping at home. Um, had dinner, snacking on some cake. And yeah, so I'm probably going to call it a night today. It wasn't very busy. It was quite um, quiet, but it was good. Um, but yeah, so hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to watch more. Good night.